Hey guys, how's it going? This is a uh, Steel Super 028. Well, this is actually a 42 millimeter cylinder. I actually did machine this cylinder and I machined this cylinder all in that Harbor Freight mini lathe. I actually did have a 660 cylinder in here. Not too bad. Uh, the glitch gremlins around, so figure when you're on camera, you know something's going to go wrong. Uh, I already machined this, but the video was blurry. You couldn't see nothing. Didn't know. Huh. Just get this set up in here like this. Obviously, no, that needs indicated in, but I'll show you. Just use this. It can be done. It's a little tricky. You got to kind of pound it in place to get it. But if you want to put an 028 Super to 46 millimeter on a 42 millimeter case. You have to grind these out. Okay? I'm gonna grind this out so your piston fits. On this, I just give it a mild port job. Ramp the transfers a little better. This ain't the greatest cylinder. There was supposed to be a ramp down in these transfers this way the cylinder was when I got it. Um was flat a little bit and I had to reshape it a tad so this is from the Duke it's a cheap cylinder but it'll run pretty good there's that I gotta get time to get this all done and together what we're gonna do here impact gun I'm gonna show you some cool stuff going to do is set this bad boy up in the mini lathe and cut these end, end plates. This is actually an impact my dad gave me years ago. Works, it's just losing power. I'll show you how you cut this. I'll give you a little better perspective here. Um, Alright, let's get this set up. Yeah, a little bit too much projects going on right now. How that goes. This up. See the chips there? I did see two cylinders. Not too bad. I got to get some material to do a little better job. You won't have to indicate it if you get a straight piece of material. Problem is it my way? It's uh, a little expensive. It's actually real expensive. Piece of two and a quarter material, one foot long. Aluminum. I want sixty bucks for it. Nuts. So I get these tools. high-speed tool I'm using to get the right angle set up piece of cast iron this thing's been awesome I did a good bit of work with fixing a lot of my most of my own stuff all right this indicator ain't the greatest Thing was given to me when I was at the machine shop. I see why. <laughs> the magnetic base is kind of not too good. Faster. Touch off. Touch. Uh, I'm going to guess about two foul. Yep.
too far. Big. See, this cylinder is pretty, pretty scored. That's why your impact gonna lose power. I fixed. Let's see. I fixed. Let's see how many. About six, seven impact guns. Pretty much all given to me because they didn't have too much power. But I fixed her. Be like MacGyver. All right. I should, might not need the indicator, but we'll see. Perfect. 
See if I can get her back together that quick, huh? Yeah, we got a little polishing to do on the road. It's polished. Oh, yeah, I saved a lot of money with this thing. This thing pretty much paid for itself already. Fixed uh, two of my three quarter impacts. Actually, three. It works like brand new now. I fixed, will be, let's see how many, five half inch impact guns. Like I said, the, most of them all given to me. Pretty good. Yep. That all polished up. A lot of times your cylinder scores up. That's why I don't have power, but this one's pretty good, as I know. Did them all years ago. A better perspective here, what I'm doing. Mind them, that's. That's the kamikaze drivers out there. I don't mind that unless it's just the kamikaze drivers out there. I think it's the Autobahn. <laughs> Already had the Batman go, go past. That's what I call There's a guy with a Dodge Diesel. Heck, he has that thing floored here, the turbo kicking in. 70s show and here the Batmobile. Sounds just like it. That guy's gonna be huh, in a wreck one day and you're not gonna find anything of him. Other little tricks I'm gonna show you here. Probably bad quality video because huh. These are the veins that's in, eh, in your 231, these type. You want this type. See with that little slot in it, that'll give your gun more power. It's a shame that stupid uh, video got all blurry. All you do is just, it's the air motor, just slide that in. End plate. Yes. Your six vein rotor. Oh, you hear that? That's how you know it's good. It's like it's sealing, like an engine, almost like compression. Put one of these back together. See this? You want the raised part of the washer. Right there. And these clamp rings, you want the, just like this.
Spencer's probably, I, I, air tank's probably down to about 50 PSI, but. It's that ported gun. Here's this. Fixed it that quick. Man, am I happy I got that little mini lathe. There's them two guns. Okay, guys, till next time. Keep on feeling the heat.